um, wigs and trying to record some of that stuff for you all. But I want to do a quick video on some of the things that I use um, when I get ready to make a wig. So I went to Walmart and bought this little box. It was like $9.98 in the sewing um, section. And it has a little pin cushion. And just like a regular sewing kit and a little pouch right here and all this stuff. So we're going to go, um, all this stuff is stuff I purchased. But um, we're going to buy, I'm going to go through everything that I have in my kit from when I get ready to um, do wigs. So I have T-pins and this is what's going to help me hold down my wig cap um, as well as hold down my, um, my hair. Um, and I stick it through the wefts when I use my T-pin. I went and got some thread and it was like $5 at the beauty store to get this big old thing of thread. So instead of me buying the little small ones, let's go ahead and get this. Let's see. You always need a comb. And I got, and then so I have the deluxe um, weaving cap because it has the adjustable straps but um, the wig that I'm going to use later on this week is going to be the Japanese mess swim cap and I do have a review on that um, um, within my other videos so if you want to go back and look at that but um, I like these but then it's also like my hair is so short now so like the Japanese mess swim cap I don't have to worry about using anything to tie it down but you know if you have a little bit longer hair or, um, or you have some more hair that you can stick bobby pins in at the top, and that's fine if you want to use this. But for really short hair, I would suggest the Japanese mesh swim cap. Then, um, the disappearing ink marking pen. Okay, you can get this in Walmart in the sewing section. And I love this if it was in white. This is in purple, I got the wrong color. Um, I got on Amazon. See if I can pull it up. When you draw on it, you it comes up in white. So that way, when I get ready to do my um, and I'll put a link with this as well. But that way, when I get ready to do my um, put my wig cap on or whatever, I have to know where my ears are at on my wig cap. I need to know where my part is gonna be at, and um, I need like I don't want it fitting way down here, so I have to adjust my wig cap. And then when I pull it up at the very top, all the extra that's going to be left over, I kind of mark that out so I know that I need to sew that part down. You know, while I'm making the wig, I don't have to go back and adjust for that. So, um, but the the pins are very, very important. So that way you actually know, you know your landmarks. And that way, um, when I get ready to use, to do my folder piece at the top, I, um, ordered this a while ago it may have been off of amazon i'll look it up and put it in the description for you all but um this is my lace closure that i use and i just kind of um measured out a piece before for the very top of my head and i just kind of use this is this a regular piece of cloth that i just kind of cut out from a closure that i had before to kind of estimate and um the closure that i bought and i just kind of estimate and i just kind of cut that out and then then wherever I want my part at, I kind of put it up there and sew that down. And I'm going to go over this with you all. I'm going to do another video on ventilation. Um, so that way I don't have to buy a closure piece. And then it's actually kind of fun to me. Um, just some downtime, something for me to do rather than um, gluing it or um, just using the wefts and making a, a, um, making a part at the very top of your head, like a closure piece at the top of your head. I just like to do like a lace front. And there is a white pen that comes in um, your sewing kits. Well, you, some people try to use this to mark off your um, your landmarks. You know, your where you're going to where you're going to have your part at, where your ears and stuff like that are going to be at. But this is so hard to use on that Japanese mesh one cap that I'm going to go ahead and get the um, other marker because it does come off as a marker. It's like nice and wet, and it comes up and. It, like it just pops right up. I'm gonna. I did another wig, and it actually has like a white line on the closure piece at the top that I made. So I'm gonna throw that picture in on this video. Um, 
and you always need scissors because I try not to cut my wefts, but at the very top, I might actually need to cut a weft. So just in case I have to cut any hair, um, this is what I need. And also when I get ready to do my ventilation at the top, I have to cut the hair from the weft. So when I get ready to do that, I do need my scissors. And I have a little sewing kit. Um, I use this basically for the, um, the little stick pins. And they have other little needles and stuff in here just in case I need those for something. But I haven't had to use them for anything. But I basically just use it for the stick pins. And I have this. It's one of those combs that have razors in it. So when I get ready to cut my hair, once I um, finish with my wig, if I want to do layers and stuff in it, something a little easier, kind of thin it out, this is what I use. A measuring tape because you need to know how big your head is. So that way when you're ordering stuff like my mesh Japanese swim cap, um, my the circumference of my head is 23 inches. So that way I know I need a large mesh, Japanese mesh swim cap. Glue. I usually don't glue down my tracks, but if something happens and I'm out and I have my bag and I need my glue for anything, I have it. And uh, here's my ventilation pen or needle, whatever you want to call it. But this is the one that um, clamps down on your needles. So it opens up and clamps down on it. So you're just twisting it right here. And I have, and I ordered this off of Amazon. I have the one to one, the one to two, the three to four, and no, the two to three, and then the three to four needles. Um, and that's, oh, the most important thing, my clips. You always need clips to try to hold and pin stuff back. Um, to move different, you know, move your hair out the way, get everything set exactly the way you need it, along with your T pin. Something might always happen. Um, like when I get ready to cut my hair, or when I get to the very top and I'm done sewing everything in, and now I'm just doing my ventilation at the very top where my part is going to be at. I always need my, um, I always need my clips. I'm talking very much with my hands today, but um, just a really quick tutorial. That's my alarm. I have to go to work. That's why I'm talking fast. Okay, that was my quick review and everything that I have in my kit to do my wigs. So, I'm about to get started on a wig video so I can get that posted for you all. Talk to you later.